November is jam-packed full of cute and cosy games and we're gonna go through them all. Hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back. So as you might know from the title, November is full of cute and cosy games. So we are gonna go through all of them together. So sit down, grab a drink, get cosy, get comfy because this is an extremely long list. There are 16 games to get through this month which is insane. I'm excited for every single one of them and let's start off with the first game shall we? The first game is called Planet Coaster 2. Reach new heights of creativity, management and sharing as you construct the theme park of your dreams combining epic water rides and coasters to delight and thrill your park guests. Planet Coaster 2 is the sequel to the world's best coaster park simulator, Planet Coaster. I've never played a Planet Coaster game, but from just the trailer, this looks amazing. The next game is a longer weighted game. This one is called Trash Goblin. Trash Goblin is a wholesome and cozy shopkeeping game where you uncover and clean trinkets, then upcycle them to sell to endless colourful and quirky customers. Spend your savings to upgrade your shop buy new and better tools and even expand your business to exciting new districts across town. This one is a first person game so again I'm curious to see how they are going to incorporate some of the accessibility features. After following this game they have said that they are taking accessibility very seriously and have included it all of the way along of developing this game so I'm really excited to see this one because I've loved playing the demo. Next up we have Stardew Valley. So Stardew Valley is finally coming to mobile and consoles with the 1.6 update. It will also be releasing a 1.6.9 update which will be coming to PCs around that time as well and there is so much new content and new features that I cannot completely add it all in this one video because it would take up the whole entire video so I will leave a link down in the description so you can go check it out for yourself but there are things like adding new events, new mini games, new NPC dialogue, you can have multiple pets, there is a world map for Ginger Island, NPCs have winter outfits, there are four new crops, there are new cats and dog breeds, there are visual improvements around the valley, there are multiplayer changes, there are different price changes and shop changes, item drop changes, quality of life updates, gameplay fixes, NPC fixes, there's so so much to this update and it is completely free to every single person who already has Stardew Valley which is insane. The next one is coming exclusively to Switch and this one is called Mario and Luigi Brothership. The brothers return for a new adventure on the high seas. Set sail with Mario and Luigi exploring islands, enjoying action-packed encounters and tackling turn-based combat in Mario and Luigi's Brothership. The world of Concordia has broken apart. Originally unified under the mighty Unitree, the land now lies fractured into many different islands and its inhabitants are separated from each other across vast seas. After arriving unexpectedly in Concordia, they set out with new friends plus some familiar faces to reconnect the islands, track down the cause of the disaster and save the day. Now this game is actually the sixth main installment in the Mario and Luigi series and it is a brand new game coming to Nintendo Switch even though they've been doing a lot of remakes or remasters recently this is a brand new one so I'm excited to see the reception for this and to see what other people think of this game so let me know in the comments below do you like these Mario games are you going to be buying this one let me know 
The next one is called Magical Bakery. Experience a life full of magic, challenges, and the joy of creating sweets that will leave a spellbinding impression on your customers. Become the ultimate magical baker and prove yourself worthy to inherit the magical bakery. This is a cooking and management single player game set in an enchanted bakery that sells all sorts of sweets and pastries with a twist. I remember including this game in my games that I cannot wait to come out in 2024. So I'm so excited this one is finally coming out and I cannot wait to see what it's like. The next game is a cute pixel game and this one is called Everhome. Lily is spirited away to a mysterious island. As her memories fade, everyone seems to know her and her quest for her missing sister. It's time to establish a homestead, meet your friendly Everfolks, then learn their secrets and solve the mystery of Everhome in this open-ended minimalistic RPG. This game looks amazing. It looks a bit dark, a bit creepy, which is great for this time of year, but you still get to farm and do all the things you expect from a farming sim, but with the added twist of trying to find your lost sister while trying to regain your memories as well. It looks so great with this dark twist as well. The next game I've talked about a few times so if you're a regular on this channel you might know what it is. It is called Nightstones. After waking up trapped in a dream set out on a journey to find your way home. Explore winding paths or venture into the wilds with your trusty glider and sailboat. To return home you must befriend quirky townsfolk discover hidden treasures, master magic, and face enemies in a clever puzzle combat. This is a cosy open world adventure where magic stones change from day to night. I remember playing the demo of this and I really, really enjoyed it. And it looks like it's changed a lot since the demo. So I'm really excited to see how this is changed and developed and what the storyline will be from that. The next one is called Miniatures. Miniatures is a collection of strange tales where childhood imagination and reality merge with darker undercurrents of mystery and magic. Explore a vast seascape build old furniture, feed a lizard, and play with sandcastles. Step into four hand-drawn memories and discover the mysteries lurking beneath the seemingly calm surface. The average playtime is about 45 minutes and you get to explore one story at a time. Again, this game looks very dark, very sinister, but with a kind of little to the left vibe so I'm interested to see what the underlying storyline is for this one. Next up we have Petite Island. Welcome to the beautiful and tropical Petite Island. Relive your grandpa's youthful adventures by exploring the island and meeting all the unique islanders in this heartwarming open world narrative exploration game. Preserve his memories before they fade away as all that remains is the story that was told and some of his old journals that have recently been discovered. This game looks so so cute. The fact that you get to capture all of the memories with photos and you get to explore the island and find different hidden treasures and you get to ride different animals and meet different characters. It looks so wholesome and so cute and I cannot wait to see this one. The tenth game on the list is called Little Big Adventure Twinsons Quest. On a planetoid with two sons, four species lived in perfect harmony, but that all changed when the brilliant scientist invented cloning and teleportation, bringing the inhabitants under his total control. Armed with your mysterious 
magic ball, explore beautiful landscapes, solve puzzles, and face formidable foes. Step into Twin Sun's fantastical world in this action adventure remake. It brings brand new visuals, new music, and smoother gameplay to the iconic classic released back in 1994. I didn't realise this has been a previous game and that they brought everything up to date including graphics and I love the look of this game. It sounds like it's got voice actors which is really nice. So this would be a great game if you've ever played the original to be very nostalgic with it. But even if you haven't, this looks like a really good game to kind of get introduced into the world of Little Big Adventure. The next game is Fields of so Mystery. So Fields of Mystery is getting its first major update since it's been released on Steam during early access. Just like Stardew Valley, I can't go through everything, but I'll try and go through most things. So the NPC's heart progression will cap from four to six hearts. There will be additional NPC dialogues. There'll be new enemies in the mines. The renowned cap has now been raised by 20 levels. There'll be new board requests. There will be additional museum content and rewards. There is a new festival. There is additional home upgrades and player and animal cosmetics. Additional furniture. There are six heart events for dateable NPCs. And there are lots more. And if you're not sure what Fields of Mysteria is, Fields of Mysteria is a farm sim RPG inspired by late 90s and onwards, where you get to build the farm of your dreams as you discover magic, romance, and adventure. Mysteria is an idyllic village tucked between forest and sea, and it has offered you an overgrown but full of potential homestead in exchange for your assistance. Restore the town to its former glory after an earthquake wreaks havoc and strange magic begins to flow through the land. They have announced that lots more updates will be coming, but this is the first major update since the game's release. The next game is another Nintendo Switch exclusive, and it is My Sim. Make adorable friends and discover creative adventures across retro re-releases of two lovable games in My Sims Cozy Bundle. Use your imagination to rebuild the town in My Sims and help a cute, magical land become an even better place in My Sims Kingdom. There are stories to uncover, locations to explore, and lots of characters with big personalities to meet. Now I have never played My Sims, I'm sorry, but I know lots of people who have, lots of people who are very very excited for this game and with it being just a re-release of the game, I think they've updated some of the graphics but not all of them. It is just so that it can come to Nintendo Switch. Next up is a game that is already out on other platforms but it is coming to Nintendo Switch. It is called Stray. Lost, alone and separated from family, a stray cat must untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long forgotten city. Stray is a third person cat adventure game set in the detailed neon lit alleys of a decaying cyber city. You roam surroundings high and low, defend against unseen threats, and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by curious droids and dangerous creatures. So Stray is already out on PlayStation, on Xbox, on Mac, and on PC, but it is now coming to Nintendo Switch. This is a great game if you've never played it already. I am not sure about the graphics for Nintendo Switch because sometimes if they port it over, the graphics have to suffer a little bit. So I am wondering about those, but I am excited that it is coming to Nintendo Switch. The next game I am so excited for, this one is called 
called On Your Trail. Embark on an intriguing getaway you'll never forget in On Your Tail, a sleuthy, story-driven life sim of relaxation, investigation, and knowing how to play your cards right. Set in the charming seaside village of Borgo Marina, On Your Tail follows the adventures of the intrepid Diana in her pursuit of the perfect summer vacation. I've been following this game for a really long time and I am excited for it to finally come out. I love the detective element in this and there is so much to do so you can even cook and fish and play mini games, befriend the local villagers. There is so much to do and I'm so excited for this. This one I just mentioned in my wish list video. This one is called Critter Cafe. Seek out fantastical critters in need of your help and build a new home together. Renovate your cafe, bond with your critters and uncover the secrets of mysterious portals to give every critter a cozy home. When a mysterious portal in your new home reveals a long lost critter stuck within, you set out to rescue every unique critter and build Build a welcoming cafe for townsfolk and critters alike. I am so excited for this game's release. I cannot tell you. I love the game design of it. I love the customization that you can do, the fact that you can create your own cafe and customize it all. And the very last game that I'm super excited for is called Luma Island. Begin your extraordinary adventure in a humble old caravan and raise to the grand achievement of building a majestic manor that you can proudly call your home. Traverse the island, solve quests, and help the locals through their struggles. Dangerous spider caverns, ancient temples, mind-bending puzzles, and hidden treasures await you. Pick from seven unique, in-depth professions, each with its own progression path. Upgrade your tools to gather rare materials and collaborate with your teammates to become the master of your craft. You can play solo or with up to four friends. This island is yours to discover. Now we didn't find out about this game until Steam's Next Fest and I have to say this looks amazing. I love the underground caverns or temples. They seem to remind me of Sims 3 and the world looks so pretty. I cannot wait to play more of this and experience more. So that is it. Those are all of the 16 games that are coming out in November. Let me know in the comments down below which one you are so excited to see this month because there is a lot of information to go through. There are updates to games. There are games exclusive to Nintendo Switch. So let me know which game you are most excited to see. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you made it this far and subscribe down below for more cute and cozy games. I would love to see you on this channel and I will leave a video at the end of this video all about the games that I think you should wish list. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!